What if you could make your mind better and faster and stronger? Your mind. Don't you want to do that right now? Well, this is something that I'm very interested in, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well. Well, the Science Channel has gone searching for answers by taking this idea of brain games to a whole new level. I'm Todd Sampson, and I'm on a quest for a better brain. I've embarked on a unique three-month experiment to see if science can turn any brain into a super brain. After one month of training, I've already increased my speed of thinking, sharpened my attention, and dramatically increased my memory. I'm not changing the order of this deck ever. <laughs> but now, I want to turbocharge my creativity. Uh, and who doesn't want all of that? And Todd Sampson joins us now. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. It looks like a great promo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch. I must say my brain was tired just watching that promo. <laughs> it was, it's part of how our brains operate, I think, nowadays. That was, that was a lot of information, lots of activity in that promo. I, I get an idea that's gonna be the tone of the show. Yes, it's fast. I mean, it's based on the premise that science for a long time told us that our brain rapidly develops until seven. At 30, it starts to decline, and that's it. We can do nothing about it. But we now know that that's absolutely false. You can positively correct your brain at any age. One of the things you, you talk about a bit in the show is the idea of creativity and how important it is. Mm -hmm. You make the comment, we don't want to just be robots. D can you define what creativity means in just a couple sentences? Practical innovation, really. I mean, the ability, the ability to look at a problem and solve it originally or laterally. I was surprised that was a very controversial episode because there were a lot of people, artists particularly, that wrote in and said that you can't learn creativity. It, you're born with it, and that's not true. I mean, science has shown that there are ways that you can improve the way you think, laterally, the way you look at problems. So, so it can be taught, is, is your premise, and to, to anybody? Is anyone capable of, of learning this? Yes, I mean, we're particularly open to it when we're young, and we have less restrictions on our mind, less constraints, when we have less of the establishment pushing us down. But you can, you can increase your creativity, you can become a more inventive person as you age. You know, w one of the things, and I have three small children, so I think about this a lot, is that you want to build the fundamental knowledge well because ultimately creativity draws on concepts and, and puts them together in unusual ways. Yes. Fair description? That's a fair description. And it, it, some of the tests, like we do this alternative use test, so if we hold up a shoe, what comes to mind immediately as an alternative use of that shoe? And when I did that with my children, the things they come up with were fantastic. I never would have got there on my own, but right. listening to them, I was like, wow. It's almost like we get too confounded by all the things that are thrown at us as adults. You also talk about being faster, being able to pay more attention to things. Did, did you find yourself changing, and what, what seemed to really make the difference? They spent seven, roughly seven hours with my head in an fMRI and Meg machine to establish my baseline. And some things I was good at, some things I was very average at. And uh, after the training, I did roughly three months uh, of training, I was completely stunned by how much change there was. Uh, I was, my thought faster, my memory, which was terrible beforehand, improved dramatically. I, it was, I had studied science at university, but it was all theory, and suddenly it became real for me. Well, so just, uh, can you give me some examples? Like, I want to improve my memory. Everybody probably does. Were there a couple things that stuck out at you as being particularly good tips? Attention. Uh, the fact is we pay little attention to the things around right. us. Uh, we, we live in this inattentive world because of overstimulation. Just simply paying attention to something can dramatically improve your memory. A lot of people forget uh, names and faces, and I get asked a lot, how would you, you know, well, what's the tip on that? Well, it's relatively straightforward in that it's visual. A third of our brain is dedicated to vision, as you know, yeah. and if you can switch that name into a visual image, like some, I need to memorize John, so you look for a distinct feature on their face, it might be their eyes, and then John, you might think toilet, then you put a toilet in their eyes, and that will be lodged in your head, as opposed to you thinking, John, 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 John. <laughs> Then you can never take that guy seriously now because no, you always see a toilet. No, he's eyes. toilet face <laughs> every time you see him. Right. Finally, the T-shirt. I mean, no, everyone wants their brains, Todd. What's what's the deal? This is a no-brainer. No-brainer. Yes. I got it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Watch the show. Watch the show. It's a no-brainer. No I saw it in the promo as well. Yes. I'm gonna watch the show. I hope a lot of people do. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having really me. Really appreciate it. Great conversation.